Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, let's talk about ehlers danlos Syndrome. It's a group of inherited disorders that affect connective tissues in the body, which provide support in the skin, bones, blood vessels, and all other organs. So this syndrome will affect this connective tissues around the body. It's characterized by a variety of symptoms, which can range from mild to life threatening depending on the type and severity. It's caused by genetic mutations that affect the structure, production or processing of collagen, a key protein in connective tissues. These mutations can be inherited in an autosomal dominant or recessive pattern depending on the type. The common symptoms are hypermobile joints, joints that move beyond the normal range, leading to frequent dislocations and subluxations, which is partial dislocations. Skin elasticity, soft, velvety skin that is highly elastic and prone to bruising and tearing. Chronic pain, joint and muscle pain due to frequent dislocations and instability. Scarring, abnormal wound healing and extensive scarring. And fragile, blood vessels. In vascular type, blood vessels and internal organs can be prone to rupture. Now let's talk about the types. There are several types, each with distinct features. The most common types are classical, marked by highly elastic, velvety skin that bruises easily and abnormal scarring. Hypermobility, the most common type, characterized by joint hypermobility, Joints that move beyond the normal range, frequent joint dislocations and chronic pain. Vascular type, the most severe type involving fragile blood vessels and organs that can rupture, leading to life-threatening complications. Kyphoscoliotic ehlers involves severe curvature of the spine, scoliosis, muscle weakness and fragile eyes. Arthrocolasia. EDS characterized by severe joint hypermobility, recurrent dislocations, and early onset osteoarthritis. While diagnosing it, we should combine clinical evaluation, physical exam to assess joint hypermobility, skin texture, and scarring. Family history, assessing the presence of EDS symptoms in family members and genetic testing identifying specific mutations associated with different types. Specialized tests such as skin biopsy or echocardiogram to evaluate the extent of tissue fragility and cardiovascular involvement. Treatment and management, there is no cure, but the treatment focuses on managing the symptoms and preventing the complications. Physical therapy to strengthen muscles and stabilize joints. Pain management, medications and therapies to manage chronic pain. Surgical interventions to repair severe joint dislocations or vascular complications. Protective measures like avoiding activities that can cause joint or skin injuries. And regular monitoring, especially for vascular type, to detect and manage complications early. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch our other videos I'll be putting on the screen. I'll see you on the next one.